Put all the costumes put away, sir. And the props. Thank you, Jack. Mr. Gillespie. Oh. Shouldn't you be shivering under a duvet somewhere, sipping a Barocca? Your dad's here, Jack. Go on, Jack, you can go. The rest of you, too. Everyone really enjoyed it, Mr. Packham. Thank you. That's down to all you kids, Jack. See you, sir. I wondered if we could talk. Not got time. You still stink of booze, by the way, if you've not got a tic tac. Or... Look, if you're still determined to get rid of me, you'll never see me again after tomorrow. Fingers crossed. So, what harm could a five minute chat do? I've done everything you asked, worked my fingers to the bone on that play, never mind the other extracurriculars. Your five minutes is up. Are up. Do you think correcting my grammar's going to help? You're a teacher. You'd have thought basic grammar would be the very least we could expect. You are not helping your case. Oh, what's the point? I could never win. You're a dinosaur, Brian. You think teaching's all about reading and spelling and times tables and making sure everyone has a lovely time. What's so outrageous about that? Do you know what your problem is? No ambition. It's the children we should have ambition for, not ourselves. You've lost, Ming. You think I bullied you before? You wait until tomorrow. Sacking a teacher's a long and painful process and you'll be begging to wave the white flag once I'm finished with you. Bullying is bad. Everyone knows that. What are you doing with that phone? Videoing you. Dad wanted to know if you wanted a lift back, Mr Packham. I want to see that phone. You have no authority to take his possessions. <laughs> The school hours finished a while ago. Yes, uh, thank you, Jack. I will have that lift. I want to see that footage. Have a look online. I just posted it. Must be horrible being parted from your dog. It is. Yes. Children, they're ungrateful beggars most of the time. Dogs you have a real bond with. I've never understood people what and got posters of the lost cat. No, well, I imagine there's quite a lot of things that you don't understand. What's your point, Gemma? Right, well, what if the cat's not lost? What if it's just wandered off or gone on holiday or it's sick of its owners? So it's not lost, it's just bored and fancies a change. That's your theory, is it? Yeah, my Cerberus was not bored. It was dognapped. How did it go? I never said it was. I'm talking about cats. Something wrong with your hearing. Take it out with Phil. No, there is nothing wrong with my hearing. He really showed his true colours. You take deliberate offence, you? Yes, I do, when someone's deliberately stupid. Three of us were just having a nice chat. You'll never guess what Jack did. <laughs> I think I've finally got one over on that idiot, Phil. Yes. You blundering fool. Do you know what you've done? You really are like some reverse Midas, aren't you? Everything you touch turns to... Excuse me. What are you on about, you odious little man? Oh, it's just the teacher that nobody likes. That video that your little pal Jack took spread through the school like wildfire. What's this? Young Jack just happened to be there while he was pontificating. Filmed him blathering about how he can bully who he likes and get away with it, huh? Not a very good example from a teacher, I thought, eh, Phil? It's a complete invasion of privacy. Oh, good luck trying to sue an eight-year-old lad with one foot. I'm sure you'll have public opinion on your side. I've been suspended! At last, some good news. Do you know I don't feel so tired anymore? You... Ah, no, you don't, pal, no, you don't. After that pathetic buffoonery today, and I'm the one that gets suspended! Hey, he might be a buffoon, but he's our buffoon. Yeah, the kids love him. He's a great teacher. And what's more, he actually cares. He's gone out of his way to help some of the kids in this area, out of school hours as well as in. They trust him, and we trust him. And that's a lot more that could be said about some stuck-up idiot like you. You don't know what you're talking about. What's my name? I don't know. What's your point? Lily's brother, Max, went to Bessie Street. You tried to get him expelled. Could have ruined his life. We must have met up about half a dozen times. You can't even remember my name? That's my point. I don't know anything about the ins and outs of your career, but that cheap aftershave you're wearing makes you smell like a Turkish brothel. Oh. God, you lot will be beyond hope. What century are you from? Hey, you want to be careful what you say here, Phil? This is my turf now. Yeah, not for much longer. It's not. Come on, out! Ah, out! This is assault! Get out! Come on, call a copper! I didn't see nothing. Me neither. Not a thing. And that, my friends, is what we call taking out the trash. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> 
So, what do you think is going to happen now, then? Oh, I've no idea. Uh, I'd just like to thank you all for, for rallying round. Yeah. It really means... Really, really means a lot to have friends like you. I really mean that. David, what you said is... Are you going to stand here all day making speeches, or are you going to buy a round? <laughs> Whatever everyone's having. <laughs> hey, I'll have a bottle of beer. Her pipe, mate.